everyone welcome to mini and me on the road super hot in tassie today so we are trying to stay cool so today i want to share a story about this solo female traveler and her pup and how they went from living in a house to traveling australia in a caravan so once upon a time there was a 40 something never married childless female living in a house with her pup and life felt meaningless and lonely. She felt like she was waiting to die. Then one day she was out walking with her friend and she came across an angel that showed her the way. She told her of this Facebook group of solo female travellers travelling Australia. So she joined and found a group of inspiring women doing things she never thought possible. The more she read, the more the flame inside started to grow life once more started to feel exciting and meaningful. There were a lot of steps for her to go from joining the Facebook group to actually hitting the road and traveling Australia. So she spent hours and hours online in Facebook groups, Google and random websites. What was a solo female traveler to travel in? Camper van, motorhome, slide on. A caravan was definitely out. And then, just like that, it wasn't. The thought terrified her. It made her shake in her boots, but it most definitely was a caravan for a solo female traveller to travel in. So she found a caravan for sale, and the moment she saw it, she knew it was the one. She had it professionally inspected just to check it was sound and was pleased when the report came back with all ticks. The caravan arrived in a driveway, but the Hyundai Getz was not going to tow it, so she hit the web once more, spending hours and hours online in Facebook groups, Googling and random websites. What was a solo female traveller going to tow a caravan with? After much deliberation, she decided on the diesel four-wheel drive Mitsubishi Outlander. It was the perfect companion for her light European caravan. So the caravan sat there patiently in her driveway, not moving until she had a man come and move it with her. He was the towing instructor she'd booked to teach her everything she needed to know. Her current skill level on caravans was nil, but that all changed with that day of towing. She practiced reversing, drove through a busy town with traffic lights, round roundabouts, and then reversed it back in her driveway. It was a huge day, but it wasn't over yet. She decided to go away that night with the caravan to test out her new skills. How nerve-wracking it is to say goodbye to the towing instructor man and now be responsible for this caravan all on your own. She's happy to report the weekend went well, even with potential flooding in the caravan park. She even managed to reverse the caravan back into her driveway on her own. Now that she had a caravan and a car, she needed to sort out her house. After much thought, she decided to keep her house and rent it out. A real estate agent was recommended and that agent came out and gave her a long list of things to get the old house up to scratch. Then what does a gal do with 40 plus years of stuff? A storage container was out, so she went through every cupboard and drawer, item by item to sell, donate or chuck. The hardest part was saying goodbye to her cat Zena and her chooks and her ducks. Then she had family come and take carloads of stuff and all she was left with was three small plastic boxes of stuff. So she was raring to go, but the house was not. She had list after list of things to fix. It felt like she would never be on her way. It was disheartening and she was so tired, stressed, overwhelmed, nervous, excited. She was a mess. Then out of the blue, a call from the agent. There were tenants ready to go. They looked, they said yes, then just like that she was on her way. So is she living happily ever after with her pup? Well, we all know there is no happily ever after, but she's living a more purposeful, meaningful life, meeting so many interesting and wonderful people. Living a simple life allows her to look at what life is about, what brings her joy, what gets her out of bed each day with excitement. You'll find her and her puppy somewhere out on the road riding the roller coaster of life. 